Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Cyber Traders. Uh, nice to see you all. Now, today we have a, a really, really uh, great uh, presenter. And um, I'm really proud and, and happy that he uh, allows us to have him uh, speak here. Uh, it's Thomas Wittner, and he's from Austria, and he is amongst many other things, uh, the founder of uh, the first uh, robo-advisory in the world, which is basically a fully automated investment vehicle. And I think it's for uh, retail investors, which is interesting. Now you will probably uh, hear from Thomas himself a little bit more about this, but I can tell you having been a consultant to robo-advisories, it's not an easy feat. And if you if you are the first uh, in that space, it's definitely a humongous challenge, and um, I, I think I, I really have to congratulate uh, Thomas for that for pulling that off because I really know how difficult this is. Now um, I'm really looking forward to Thomas's talk, and uh, without further ado, I hand back to Josh, and uh, talk to you later. Thanks, Tom. I wanted to just like give you a, a quick um, intro to what we're doing. So Tom and me, we're currently building the AAA Quants Academy, a learning platform where you can learn more about like algorithmic trading and so on from scratch. And if you're interested in it, check out uh, AAAQuants.com slash academy, written AAAQuants.com slash academy. And without further ado, let's give it right to, to Thomas and Looking forward to your talk. Thank you guys for the introduction. Hello everyone, I'm Thomas. I'm pleased that you will join our webinar today. It's all about a quantitative analysis of stocks and stock portfolios. And we are also doing some live backtesting together. Um, but let's start from the beginning. The first thing I would like to do is to introduce myself a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm doing trading since 2001, so more than 20 years ago, and I'm doing trading for a living since 2009, so it takes approximately eight years to learn the basics about how trading really works, and since 2012, we are doing asset management. So we founded, as Tom said in the beginning, the first stock robo advisory uh, worldwide in 2016 and three years later we did an exit we sold the company and i moved back to my core business what i have done before trading education mostly for retail traders for the private traders because i have learned a lot of things when doing asset management i want to uh, to share this knowledge with the many, many private traders um, that they are become successful. Um, you can see my homepage, my English homepage. As you can hear, I'm no English native speaker. In fact, it's only my, it's just my second lecture in English, but I'm doing my best that you can understand everything uh, I'm going to talk and my English homepage thomaswittnertrading.com is also a very new project that we are starting a few weeks ago, but feel free to have a look at this website. Um, I'm doing now this short disclaimer and I also will switch off my webcam right now because I would like that you uh, focus on the screen content and not to my face so let's switch off i will turn on my webcam of course at the end when we doing uh questions and answers okay so the disclaimer yes as you know we are doing here uh no investment advice in terms of the financial law sense that means that stock trading transactions of course involve considerable risks and also that historical results have no significance 
for future profits. All spoken in the sense of financial law. So please read through this disclaimer and please internalize it. Thank you very much. And now we are going to start with the introduction of this whole webinar. And as I always say, trading is a statistical problem. And this brings us to, you can see it on top of the law of the large numbers. What does this mean? Well, um, trading is, from my point of view, statistic. It's a statistical problem. And statistics is the analysis of mass phenomena. So in terms of trading, that means the following things. The individual trade is not really significant. The outcome of one trade is not significant. The second thing is, strictly speaking, charts and also sample trades, two things that private trader, they love them. They love charts, they love sample trades. But in fact, these are all single events. And a single event has nothing to do with statistic. So that's very important for the understanding of backtesting of statistical analysis. And we have to trade frequently because of stability, system stability, and of course, making profits. And the second point, which is highlighted here, um, I think it was a few weeks ago, I did this slide with a group of German speaking analysts. And as you might th uh, know, the, the hell breaks loose because um, they are all relying on charts. They are all relying of analyzing charts, of putting trend lines in the charts, moving uh, averages, resistant lines, and so on and so on. But what they are doing is, I think, let's say it's wrong, yeah, because um, you have to look at trading from a statistical point of view. And the chart, as I said before, is just a single event and has nothing to do with trading success from my point of view. So let's move to the agenda. So I have some topics for you today. We are doing a lot of practice, a lot of uh, backtesting uh, live, but we have to, to start with a few things that you will understand what I'm trying to tell you. First thing is about trading strategy, about the pieces, the puzzle pieces of a trading model. Then we're doing some target market analysis live to, to start with the topic backtesting. Then we're talking about the so-called transaction weight. We will see in a few moments what's about the transaction weight, also called position priority. Then we're talking about indicators in common, indicators profiling, how to find the alpha of an indicator um, because you need indicators to create a trading system. And then we are talking about some topics, uh, advanced topics like over-optimization, curve fitting, and so on, in sample, out of sample, next topic, because it's a big problem if you are doing backtesting, the so-called uh, curve fitting. So these are topics for advanced traders. And then I would show you some things how I or we can support you 
in your trading 